Good morning. As well as running this YouTube channel, we also run our own plugin business. One of our premium plugins is WooBuilder Blocks, which has just gone through a big update. There's two things I want to show you today, and that is to do with full site editing support and also the fact that you can use the blocks on any of your pages now, not just a single product page. Let's get into it. Before I get into the new functionality, a quick recap on how WooBuilder Blocks works. It essentially lets you use Gutenberg to design your product pages. So here's a WooCommerce product page and I'm gonna click on Enable WooBuilder Blocks. Now I can start from scratch. I can use one of the preset templates that we've supplied or you can use one of your templates. I'm gonna choose one of the templates that come with the plugin and I'll just for speed here, click on this middle one and you'll see that will just load the product page now using Gutenberg. So you can design this page any way you like. That's the whole idea behind WooBuilder Blocks and if I click on List View, you'll see this page is just made up of WooBuilder Blocks which are all the constituent WooCommerce blocks that you need to design your product pages. So we've built a whole bunch of blocks that you can design these pages with, and you can save them as templates and all sorts of other cool stuff as well, and you can customize each block as well. But let's move on to the new functionality that is full site editing and being able to use these blocks in any of your pages, not just the product page. The first new feature update is that now we build the blocks fully supports full site editing themes. So block themes, let me show you how cool this is. So if I go to my site editor, so appearance and editor, I'm using the Brixie theme, but any this will work on any block theme out there, this functionality. And then I click on my templates, and now I go and find the single product template, which is this one here. Now I've already created this one using WooBuilder Blocks, this is normally blank, but you'll see if I click on the list view, this is just made up now of all our WooBuilder Blocks, so they fully support full site editing. And this is the layer I've created. So this now is basically being applied to every single product on my site. Let me go and show you this. So if I go to any of my products here, you'll see that that product inherits that layout that I've designed in the site editor. So it's incredibly powerful. I go to any of these and it's the same layout. If I want to make a change, I can just go back to the site editor. Let's say I wanna flip these columns around to have a different layout, just save it here. And I go back to all my products and you'll see the columns will flip around because they are inheriting that template. Let's go back. All these products are inheriting that new layout that I've designed in the full site editor. And the second big update, which we haven't told anyone about yet really, is the ability to use WooBuilder blocks on any of your pages, not just a single product page. Here's an example of a page that I've put together using WooBuilder blocks. And you'll see as I scroll up, we get these nice product layouts. But there's no limit on the designs that you could achieve with these because we've just you're just using blocks to design these pages. Let me go into the edit page screen very quickly to show you how this works. And I'll just click on the list view so you can see that all these elements here are actually built using WooBuilder block. We've actually used the columns block to create the layout. And then within each column, we've used a cover block. And then within the cover block, we used three WooBuilder blocks, which is the product price block, the product title block, and the add to cart block. What I'll do is I'm just gonna delete this one here and just show you how quickly you can create things like this. So if I go insert after, let me add the cover block here. Let's choose that one there. And then basically we're just gonna add some blocks. Now this is the key bit here. We're gonna add the product price to start with. So we go WooBuilder product and then we define product price. And over here on the right, we just need to choose which product we want to bring in. So in this case, it was actually an autumn jumper. So let's just find that. And then that'll dynamically bring in that price for that particular jumper. And then underneath here, I'm gonna add my other blocks. So I'm gonna go WooBuilder product title and that'll bring the title and then we just need to specify again the autumn jumper product title and this is bringing dynamic content in here that's what's so cute about this and I'm going to change the size of that as well let's change that up a bit I think it was 37 I wanted there we go there's the jumper and then finally underneath this I'm just going to add the add to cart block add to cart which is that one there and then finally for that one again I just need to choose the autumn jumper so I going to search for it again there it is and then I think the only other thing I need to do on this is set the height of my cover block you see how I'm using third-party blocks intermingled with WooBuilder block to create these layouts and the height is 600 pixels so I'll make it the same for this one here and there we go there's my cool super duper new layout and again because it's the cover block I can do things like change the opacity on it all that kind of good stuff and change the font size Let's update it, go and have a look what it looks like. There's my cool new product price. Now again, these are dynamically linked to WooCommerce. So if you change your product price in WooCommerce, the product prices all change in here as well. 
If you want to take Woo Builder Blocks for a spin, we have a free 14-day trial available. It's a premium plugin priced at $49 a year. If you have any questions about it, stick them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Keep well, and I'll see you very, very soon.